Hello everyone, how are you? I'm doing good. I still got a lot of y'all to go through. I'm getting it though. I'm just surprised. Well, not really, but like, whatever. I actually am happy though. You guys make things so much more fun. I'm really happy that you guys are getting into the whole, like, witchcraft shit that I'm into. Because that, like, makes me really understand that you guys are interested in some of the shit. Some of it might be useful. I am going to do witch jars. I'm just going to wait for one of these nights. When, like, my husband's working and I'm hot. Well, I'm probably going to be, like, off one of the days when I can do it this coming weekend. So I'll probably do it this week. Well, not this weekend, but probably like Monday or some shit. But I'm going to show you guys witch jars and all of that shit because I think you guys would enjoy that too. It'll be fun. It'll also give you a reason to drink because, you know, I don't drink because, like, I like drinking. No. Like, if you want to attract witches, put a sign around your house or some shit that says, like, Freemason jars. All must go. Too many to handle. They'll come fucking a running. Sure, it'll say they're cannon shit, but no, they're not. <laughs> Fuck candles, give me some fucking jars. I can always use that shit. <laughs> anyway, my dear viewers, practitioners, fellow weirdo weirdos, strangers. This is an all signs read, so if this resonates with you, a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. What the fuck is on my glass? Ah, stuff just on my shit. And I don't even Is that even on the glass? I don't know, I'll clean it later. Anyway. You know, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You know, it's just a card game after all. Just boop your nose and away you goes. Don't take this shit too seriously either. This shit might only work at this current point in time. Influences come in and change, right? So anything could be of the wind. Just keep this in mind. Right? Right. So who are we reading for tonight? Someone who is... Mm, they don't feel much for the future because they're still focused on the past. Right? Right. You know what? I, what I would love for you guys to do, I would love you guys to talk about something that made you grateful today, right? You know, me for example, the thing I was grateful for today, I went on my lunch break, I went down to the Mountaineer Mart because that's the gas station. Is that, is that a gas? Yeah, it's a gas station. You can get gas there. But it's really hard because that's like the only place in town, in the, on that side of town to get gas. So everybody's there. So I don't bother. <laughs> but um, I went there. I found a delicious, freshly made hot pepperoni roll. And you know what? That shit is good. Do you know what a pepperoni roll is? If you're not from West Virginia, you probably don't because there's some sort of copyright to where, like, nobody else can make it in the States. Literally. It's like cocoa eats. Nobody knows what the fuck that shit is, but they think chocolate grits sound disgusting. And it's not. It's delicious. And you have to try it. But a pepperoni roll is basically a roll with pepperoni stuffed in the center of it. And it's fucking delicious. You can put cheese. You can put pizza sauce. It's like a big-ass uh, pizza roll. Except, like, in dough. It's It's... Oh my god, you, got, you guys have no idea. Like, I can even show you because I still have that set pepperoni roll. But I was so grateful to find it, and it was just like, thank you, Rixum. And thank you, Mountaineer Mart, for having this pepperoni roll for me to find. Chicky at the registry encouraged me to get it. It was just like, yeah, this is a damn sign. Fuck yeah. I want to hear about what you guys are grateful about, you know? I'm really interested. Anyway... To this queer or two is uh, not so focused on his future, or they act like they're focused on their future, but they're still focused on the past or anything. They are probably impatient. They have probably entered a bitch mode with the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries, most likely Sagittarius. Is that is my bitch boo, my rising right? She might be impatient about ending some fighting. What are you doing? I'm not letting you out, motherfucker. You were lost your mind. You better be grateful you have a house to try to escape from. <laughs> Crazy kitty. Let's see. The thoughts and feelings. The Emperor. Once again, Aries. So this could be an Aries that somebody could be dealing with, or it could be an Aries if you... Well, it could be you if you're an Aries, but you know. Feeling like they want to be in control of everything. We got the Eight of Swords right here. 
in the root of that feeling, which is feeling like they're stuck in something. Then we got the Ace of Wands reversed, right? What's up with the Ace of Wands reversed? Well, someone's having a hard time making some sort of decision, right? When it comes to that decision, it has something to do with like planting a flower in the desert, but ignoring the fact that they were planting a flower in the desert. There's not much water there. It's really dry. The sun's like a freaking laser beam on your face. If you, if you go outside, without sunglasses, you'll lose your night vision and won't be able to see in the dark. It'll fry your retinas. retinas. It was just a bad investment and idea all around. And now it feels like someone is getting their blessings while another person is just holding one pentacle. Like, what the fuck about me? Like, I've been doing shit. Like, damn, what do I have to do to get somewhere, right? I want that victory too. You know, and I'm willing to fight for it. I'll even drop the dynamite on the motherfucker. I got a sword and I will stab it with this sword so help me I, I i fought shit before i'll do it the fuck again you know um even going as far as putting on a performing act in front of people to show how balanced you are but it's the emotions underneath that's the issue not what you're doing not what you're trying to do what you're feeling querent You might think that you're in a brand new start, but you feel like you're still in the same fucking place you were before, man. We got a king of pentacles right here. Provider. Go-getter. Could be a banker. Could be a lawyer. This could be somebody with a lot of knowledge, possibly a lot of money, whoever carries that sort of vibration, right? Very giving energy, I feel like, too. Like, he's not being a dork, so that's a plus. Then we got the alien, so this could be a, a uh, Virgo for sure. But it's like someone's coming out of some, or someone's going in to a cave to find some information out. So they're going kind of inward on themselves, right? Let's move you over. I thank you very kindly. All right, what's the vibration for this querent, please? Ten of Pentacles reverse, lack of closure. Business did not complete the way one would think it would. Like, some shit may be whack with the numbers somewhere. Inheritance gone wrong. The family is like sitting on this pentacle because that's the only piece of furniture they had because they had to sell every fucking thing else times probably harsh times probably doesn't feel like someone has what they need or you know the worst comes worse a family started playing like catching up with the joneses and spent all their money but like that's like i don't know like ditzy was kind of saying that i think yeah ditzy was so let's see Oh, if you're wondering, Ditsy's one of my guides, and so is Malachi. But Malachi's the one with the very dirty, dirty mouth and says a lot of naughty things. Lots of naughty things. Mm. Stop. Okay. Anyway, Queen of Wands reverse, right? Mm. It's like this queer is trying to figure out how to get control of something that they don't have any control of. Especially with the Emperor right here. Like, how are you going to feel like you're in control of your thoughts and feelings, but the root of that is being the Eight of Swords? You know, it's like you wanted to start something with, like, an Earth sign, possibly a Virgo, but it didn't. So it's like you have to go inside somewhere. It's like you're getting impatient with, uh, that this shit isn't ending. You even got bitches behind you being like, Bitch, do something. You know, trying to keep your backs to them so they don't see how you really feel, queer it. So let's see, this Queen of Wands right here, she's trying to move past traumatic events from the past. It probably left her being really bitchy and wanting to come back in from the cold, no longer feel concern or complexity, right? But unfortunately, something doesn't fit in. Sony doesn't fit in with the harmony or the chemistry. They were not invited to the dinner table. In fact, they were thrown out of the house because they wouldn't finish the fucking homework. Or they left the toilet seat up for, like, God knows how many times and someone was tired of falling into the toilet. 
you know? Like, mom's just like, you know, you can just get out of my house. You are dead to me, you know? Nine of Pentacles. Someone doesn't feel like themselves because they don't feel like they're part of the uh, tribe or group anymore, and they got a hunger and intention about that shit, too. Five of Wands, reverse. All of this, uh, they want the fighting to end because they don't feel like a victor. They didn't feel like they got a victory, but unfortunately, they don't have the strength to reopen this door with the Four of Wands and cause the tower to happen. What? Okay. What the fuck is that about, Queerant? I don't know. But you want... Uh, it's like a door was closed on you and the tower didn't come, and that's what made you... Uh, I don't get it. Like, you want a battle to end, but if a door is closed, or you were cut off, or something isn't in sync with you anymore, like another person, or a job, or an event, you know... Um, wouldn't that end the conflict? I mean, if you don't have access to it anymore, because it, it, it didn't cause the tower to happen. That's very confusing, but okay. Let's see. Queen of Wands, once again. Let's clarify all of this mess up here. Ah, she's trying to get rid of a bug. Flicked on her hand. She might have to drop some coin to do that. I feel like. Like, maybe somebody already has a bug, an infection, a sickness, actual bugs, could be an STD, anything like that, right? Just something that infects stuff, and now someone's trying to get rid of it. Ew, these two popped up together. Someone manifested something naughty, and now someone else is coming to get them secrets. Like, she's just like, where is my husband, Ben? Ben's in the basement, like, trying to murder a motherfucker. Particularly this Ace of Wands reverse. It's like they manifested the wrong thing, and now someone's coming looking for some info that's apparently missing. Hmm. I don't feel any romance in this, though. None at all. Five of Wands Reverse. Someone wants to pay their respects to the dead. Or at least they wanted to. Just be like, hey, I know you're gone, but um, whatever. You know. They want to pay respects to the dead, but as little as fucking possible. What? Okay, queer aunt, whatever. Um... What the fuck does that even mean? Why do they only want to pay such little respect to the dead? Because this is like he's only taking one thing and he's leaving the rest, even though they all look way riper than the one he's carrying. You know, it's just like, why, why are you only taking a little bit? There's the rest of them right there. You should have grabbed the bucket, dude. Like, you know, there's a bunch. You know? Oh, okay. Um, because you're one of those people, possibly, like, just like the magician right here, who, um, feels stronger by going after what is weaker. He's got this lizard in his hand, but the way I see this reverse is like he crushed this lizard just to show his own strength, like a child, trying to be like, look what I can do. Yeah? Longing for the happiness it brings. Hmm? Fire wings, ew. Listen to the song, Queer. <laughs> but seriously, it's like, um. I feel like this is a person who just messed a bunch of shit up without thinking. Without realizing, honestly. They feel like they can crush this person that they're, I guess, thinking or waiting on, I feel like. Because I always feel like the Queen of Wands in this, she's on, off of her throne, she's standing there with her hands on her hips, she's waiting for something. But she's waiting for conflict to end. Maybe it's with her counterpart? But I don't feel like these are counterparts. They could be, but I almost feel like they're the same person. 
But maybe they just feel that way to each other. Emperor! Thoughts and feelings. This person feels like they are in control, like they know what they're fucking doing, all that good jazz, right? They want to reap their rewards. They want production. But they feel like they don't have the strength, the fortitude, or endurance after possibly a breakup or a separation, right? Well, that's kind of interesting. Quirit, you're very confusing to me. Only because I don't understand what it is that you're wanting or looking for, really. Like, I, I, like, I, I can see what it is you're trying to do, but I don't entirely... It's it, like there's something not clicking with me, and I don't know why. It's like, um... It's like you miss somebody? Or... Something... Cause I don't even know if it's a person. Um, but your reasons for missing it are like... I don't know. It's weird. It's like there was some control you wanted here so you can reap the rewards. But there's like some strength you're lacking when it comes to a separation. And the root of this is the Eight of Swords, right? Were you trying to come out of some days in confusion? After some powerful dynamic truth was laid, some clarity came out that just went like, huh? Ah. Yeah! <laughs> that was perfect. He was like, ha ah. <laughs> It's like, you got that light bulb in your head, possibly. But it's got you feeling tortured mentally. Unearthly mystical. Did you learn something about a water sign? Cancer Pisces Scorpio, possibly? Maybe it's a young child, but it's like... Mm. It's like you had some idea of truth. About what you were either feeling or thinking. How you were flowing with things. But it's almost like you were trying to control money, but you lost the strength to retain this relationship up here. This Two of Cups Nexus partner, it was not anymore. It's like you don't have a partner to do that or something. The vibration, the Ten of Pentacles, right? If Yeah, it feels like you're separating from something. Either a person or whatnot. It could be Sagittarius. Ooh. Queerin, I feel like um, a lot of shit's falling apart for you. I don't know why. Other than maybe this and this, but I'm not sure. It's like something didn't happen. Like you were waiting for the tower. But you're going to only give as little as possible because you like watching weaker things suffer, I feel like. I don't feel like the queen and the king are separate people. I mean, if they are, then the queen's waiting on this king and the king is just... I don't know, man. The emperor up here, once again. Trying to pour out your cup and it's just not emptying. It's not, like, relinquishing the liquids. Queen of Wands, once again. Okay, so maybe it is a different person. They are different from each other. Let me look over here real quick, because I feel like I missed something then. Let's see. If this Queen of Wands is this one over here who's ignoring all of the... Like, she has the black cat, right? But she's got the lizard, and the lizard's keeping the cat from, like, saying shit. It just flicks its tail. And the cat bites off the tail. And then the tail just snaps off like lizards do. And it fucking freaks the cat out. And it's just like, oh, well, I'm never doing that again. That's fucked up. Until like, the cat realizes it can be a toy. And, but that's a different story for a different day. Anyway. Um, this Queen of Wands, if this is not the King of Wands, not the same person. 
she removed herself from a past situation in order to get out of this um, concern and complexity where she felt like she didn't belong, right? So she got rid of this infection, which was the magician reversed and secrets became revealed. It's like this bitch is about to be sacrificed to the lobster. And the dogs are barking to make sure she stays on the fucking path. That's kind of creepy. Mm. But this person can't get over her. Like, she was all impatient. She was in bitch mode. She was mean. And this king of wands didn't give a shit. He liked crushing small things. He didn't want to give as much. He just wanted to give what he could and keep the rest for himself. He didn't want to harvest the rest of the pentacles. that he was taking to this dead body as a goddamn flower. But now he might be like, look on his phone, looking at the navigation, like, how do I get to Jefferson Street, Siri? You know? Eight of Swords. Ooh. There's a Queen of Swords right here. Someone needs to be gentle with their harshness. Or someone should have been in order to bring all the things together with the world. Someone needs to be gentle with what they cut out. That's gonna bring the world all together and shit, right? Or at least that's what they should have been. With the Ten of Pentacles over here, someone is enabling somebody else to just hang on to like stupid shit and not move forward. Like this guy's like, I am a martyr. And this bitch is like, yes, you are, dear. You know, like, just feeding into that weird-ass ego of just, like, sacrificing self for no reason. Mainly because they don't want to, like, carry anything anymore. They don't want to carry this burden. They're, they're hoping that someone will help them out. Unfortunately, um, elusive and mystical Queen of Swords will not be. That doesn't make no damn sense, is what she's saying. Like, that's crazy. I feel like this person wanted other people to help them, like, stick into his, in the same situation they've been in. Like, um, I mean, it is an enabling behavior, but it is one that Querent definitely wants to use to get out of some sort of burden or whatever. But I feel like that's the problem. It's like they, it's, it's like Querent doesn't know that, um... It's like they don't know how to do anything else. But the problem is they've spent so much time looking like the Emperor, but they can't empty their cup of this Queen of Wands. It's like, it, 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 like, it's like even if this was a person who was briefly in this Queerance life, it's a person who's like left their mark on them, I feel like. Queen of Wands is able to do that. Like She's young, she's pretty, she's sassy, she has a cape on. That's awesome. She's got a kitty and a lizard and a flower and a wand. You know, she likes to fight because she's got lions fighting it on her throne. You know, she'll throw down on a bitch. She does not care. And everyone likes her. She's popular. Like, this is a person who would leave a mark on somebody whether they wanted to or not. It's like, try to forget me, bitch. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> She's got that kind of energy to me. It's just kind of like, oh, okay. It was like too much for this person. And, and like they're trying to use the enabling behaviors to get over this. But it, it just the ladies wands down for a minute just so they can take a nap. You know, take a break from it all. Now we got the ace of wands up here. It's reversed. There were gifts and bounties from the past. Where they could have gotten the Ace of Wands. In order not to be trapped and confined. Oh, this Quirant wasted their fucking time. Okay. They wasted their time. They wasted their time, um... Not initiating this Ace of Wands in order to get out of being trapped and confined. And now the problem is, is the time has passed. What? 
Sorry, my husband just... It said something that didn't make any sense in the text, and I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, whatever, man. Um, we don't have sushi around here. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I apologize. Anyway, this king of pentacles could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, could be a oh, who's this? Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. My bad. Uh, <laughs> they were a possibly a wish fulfillment that, um... Turned out to be bad. Turned out to be something that no that turned into if it was a wish, a desire, a dream, it became a nightmare. Um, there was no, it left them it, it left somebody insecure, miserly. Nothing was rooted, or something was uprooted. Someone was uprooted. Someone made a wish that I think they didn't mean to make, which was to uproot this king of pentacles in order to get over a heartbreak. So we're getting into some crazy shit. Now we're down here to the alien, most likely Virgo, someone is dealing with, right? Someone did not calculate having a bad judgment call. Queen of Wands, once again. So a choice was made. And it led to, like, treasures and discoveries. Not so much. Why does the Queen of Wands... Why is the Queen of Wands not... Calculating and th or theorizing, like... This is the second time she's shown up reverse, but she's shown up upright right here. It's like someone only sees her bad side, but they still love the good side that's in her. It's like, that's who they adore some shit, but it's like... Why? Hmm. I don't know, man. Queer, like, you're kind of, um... Like, was what you thought the Queen of Wands was the bad judgment call? Or do you think that she made the bad judgment calls because she didn't think or some shit when she made her choices? I don't know. Could be either or. Could be honestly be a, a slew of things because I'm feeling so much different shit from you. And it's kind of awkward. But it's like, whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Up. On top, someone needed to make an offer. Possibly this earth sign. When it came to the past situation where someone could have made a good start. In order to um, get this relationship going. I'm going one more because I feel like I'm like... What? Oh, okay, whatever. Um, let's see... So wait, so I made a, a fucked up wish about uprooting the King of Pentacles in order to avoid their heartbreak. But in the past situation, it's like they expected this Pentacle motherfucker to offer something in order to get this relationship going. What? Oh, that one was actually reversed. That was a flop. And it was like someone was drunk when they made that fucking idea up. Like... Like, this dude's got his back turned to this relationship anyway. And it's just like, no, I'm just gonna flop my feelings around. And then I'm gonna go get drunk. It's like, what? Alright, King of Pentacles. What's up with this one? Because this is totally confusing, Queer. Someone expected to give a... Mmm. Someone's expected a victory to share it with somebody. Yeah, I'm dropping more than what I should, but still. Could be Taurus. I mean, and like, there, it, it's like the only Earth sign we've shown up yet is Capricorn, you know? But it's like, there, there's somebody here who is a, like definitely an Earth sign, or at least somebody who's extremely stable. That I feel queer, and you were expecting 
to be the more stable one and make offers to you. But it's like... You fuck their fish up. And it's almost like you wanted this King of Pentacles to come riding in, share a victory with you, teach you stuff, and help you embrace your negative side, or you were hoping they'd embrace your side, or be that person who'd be like, I am the forgiving teacher, or some shit, or... Like, like the Bible says to forgive people who do us wrong, so that's what you're supposed to do. And they, and they give you a hug, even though you're a beast? Like, you know, I'm just saying, but, like, I mean, I don't know, man. That's what it's kind of feeling like to me. It's like... Mmm. It is like... I don't know. Like, I don't even think it's just one person you're dealing with, either. I'm feeling like a total of five individuals, especially with the five of wands. And it's like... I'm not sure who the fuck you're dealing with, Queer, but that's a lot of fucking people. Like, I mean, it's a multitude of people. A lot of the people I felt like were the same, but then it's like, no, a lot of these people are not the same, dude. Like, you're dealing with a whole bunch of folk. One more on top of this King of Pentacles. Like, what the fuck is his problem? That's what I want to know. What's his problem? Oh! Someone dragged him through fire. <laughs> uh, Ten of Cups reverse. Someone dragged him through the fire. That's his problem. Someone he trusted, I guess, dragged him through the fire? Maybe he was the one who made, like, the wish to, uh, leave, so, like, you know. Or his insecurities, or some shit, but it's like he feels like he was dragged through the fire by somebody. Uh, you know, like a mother figure, or just somebody, possibly, who, um, he was very connected to. He feels like he they dragged them through the fire. Alright, down below... Last one. Yeah, someone's on their GPS chariot trying to move forward, but they need direction, so they're going to Siri. Which, I will say, that is not always a good idea, because that bitch tends to be very sarcastic, right? Um, they're looking at somebody, they're just like, should I open up to this person? It's like they have different wounds, and that's what's making this person wonder, but they want to open up. Let their guard down. Uh, maybe even give to this person, right? Fairly. Um, but that also requires them to give up what makes them secure and actually administer some sweet, sweet justice. Right? That's calling. What else comes with this chariot fleet? Mm, they're like, y'all, hey, oh, what? Are you for, okay. Queer it! Dude, it's like you don't see eye to eye with somebody, but you're searching for him after you ditched him. It's like she took that cup and was just like, I'm taking my heart out of here and I'm flying away. I'm just, I'm just going to put this down into the dirt and plant it somewhere else. You know, that's what she did with this cup. She just dumped it like there was no point, but you're, it's almost like you're looking for her now or just somebody, whether it's your counterpart whether it's your friend, whether it's your mama, whether it's your daddy, whether it's that one bitch Becky from the mall who keeps making your drinks wrong on purpose and you know she's doing it on purpose because she's that kind of bitch, right? Because that's Becky. Yeah, that's kind of what's going on here, Quirant. I feel like there was somebody who you were expecting to come back to you I'm just not sure why that is. You know? You know what? Let's do a little bit different, right? Why were you expecting this person to come back to you, Quirant?
What the fuck, dude? Okay. Look it, you're coming off Jake, right? You expected this person to just need a break before they'd come back to offer something because you thought, oh, well, I'd be in my head if I don't have um, clearance. Like you expected somebody to come back to you after a break because you thought they couldn't live without you? Because that's not healthy. That's like codependency. No, you're kind of expecting a person to compromise their own self to make you feel important, and I don't think that's healthy for you either. Because that could be what the problem of enabling these behaviors that keep you stuck in place might be an issue with. You know, because if you expect people to come back to you just because you think they can't live without you, eventually you're going to run into somebody who's not going to give in to that shit, you know? There's always one. There's always going to be that one person who uh, isn't going to deal with your shit. And I feel like it was this Queen of Wands, but it's like you keep looking at her like she's wrong. Or, or you only see her in your feelings as what she's actually like on a nice side, maybe? Or maybe I'm completely wrong and she's a bitch and you keep trying to figure things out about her, but you're looking for her. You're looking for her after she decided, you know, fuck this cup. I'm buried in the dirt and that's it, you know? I feel like you want validation more than you do the person, too. Like, why would you only want this person to come back after they've had a break and they want to offer you something or offer a new start after they've been mentally tormented, possibly from being without you? Because I feel like that's what this mainly is. Like, why would they offer something if they're in this fucking bind right here? That's what you're in. It's not healthy, and I don't think that, like, anybody should come to somebody just to make themselves feel better in a way. Like, I mean, if you guys are destined and y'all are mentally entwined and all that shit, whatnot, yeah, that's cool, whatever, right? That's, I mean, it's your life, but I'm just uh, putting my own opinion out here, which is like, you know, um, like, what if they die? What are you going to do then? What if there's something that completely ends all of this transgression right here? What if uh, something comes in to just completely halt and stop all of this shit like you want to? Because this is just a nap. This isn't stopping it. You're not putting it down completely. You're taking a break, which is all you're really doing with the hanged man right here is taking a break. But you're expecting the other person to take a break to do um, something that I don't see you doing at all. You know, like, it's it's one of those, I, I don't know, I'm talking a lot, right? But I, I just feel like, I, I just need to be the mom at a moment, right? It feels like you want this person to do what you're not capable of. Which isn't fair. Because it's almost like you already, like, you know, don't want to give them too much anyway. You want to bring a flower, but you're bringing as minimum as possible. The flower was a dollar, and it's made of plastic and shit. You can even afford something that's going to die with the person's body. Or degrade with their person's body, you know? That way they're not alone so much. Or at least that's what I assume people buy flowers for. I mean, I hope it wouldn't be the decorated... Like, I don't know if it's... I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm weird like that. But that's what I feel like. I feel like you almost wanted somebody to do what you couldn't do. Which you can't do. Or maybe you do want to do this. I don't know. Maybe you will try finally come up to this person once your brain is enraptured enough to be like, I can't take this shit anymore. Here, take the stick before I beat your dead corpse with it. You know? But I feel like you want this more from the other person. I don't know, man. But, like, just consider that queer it. Like, you know, think about how hard it would be for you to change yourself and then understand why it's hard for other people to change for you. Or for you to want them to change, right? You can't expect always somebody to do what you can't do. Because they might just be as weak or as strong as you are, you know? So, I don't know. Just think about it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I will... See you guys later. I love your faces. Please take care. Everyone's waiting for a reading. I'm getting to them, I promise. I just got a lot of ya.
Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.